All right. So I want to do this quick video, right? Because I want you to understand the difference. I want you to understand the difference. And I want you to see some things that you probably didn't see before. So that's why I teach. Not to pour information into you, but to bring knowledge out of you. Okay? Now I'm going to tell you how a leader moves. So you're going to have people, and you may be one of those people, who complain, who cry, whine about the Trump presidency. Okay? Now, look. Obviously, we don't have enough power as a unit, a collective body, to influence the presidency. Okay? Because if we did, then it wouldn't be what it is right now. So the best thing that we can do as a people, all right, is not to be worrying about what's not going our way based on the decisions of a president. And we should be more focused on how we going to build and work together to do what we need to do and repair our community. Because it's very clear that it's not a priority on the Trump administration to help the black community. Okay, if you know otherwise, then you let me know. Okay. But what I'm talking about is about us working together to build up and uplift our own community. Okay. So a leader moves like this. It I'm not it doesn't matter to me who's sitting in that house over there. Okay. A leader is probably going to tell you stuff like this. You need to focus on your local elections. What affects your district, your city. That's the stuff you need to be focusing on. And if you're not voting for that stuff and you're concerned about the presidency, then you, you, you're you not connecting the dots here. Okay. You got to look at who has an impact on you, your family and your community and the board control over decisions that affect your day-to-day -day life is happening at the local level okay so what that means is that you need to get involved on the local level like putting people in certain positions within the local government because they the ones that supposed to be taking care and making decisions on your on your behalf in your best interest okay when things don't get done, then that's when you see what you see in the communities right now. OK, you'll see communities being run down. You'll see a lot of unemployment. You'll see a lot of um, high school dropout. You'll see um, you you'll see where things are not where they should be. The numbers don't lie. You'll see high incarceration. You'll see high crime. You'll see lack of opportunities that lead to all sorts of problems when it comes to poverty okay now there's supposed to be solutions the Trump presidency Obama presidency if you can point to something that has happened in your community as a result of the decisions that they made from that office then please let me know but I'm trying to influence what happens on a local level Okay, to take care of us. And that's what you have to understand. So you can complain about Trump being in, in, in office or you can work together and build and capitalize on the opportunities to build up and uplift your own community. So what am I talking about? How can the Trump presidency um, be, be any kind of positive? Well, a leader will look at the situation. And see, you do your homework, you will understand that a big problem in the community is poverty. So if you look at poverty, you'll see unemployment, lack of opportunities. OK, so if you want to deal with poverty, then you need to give people a job. They need to have skills where they can be employed in high wage jobs. OK, so what is Trump doing right now? Trump is Trump walling out. Trump doing what Trump do. 
He said that he was going to, he, he attacked Muslims. He attacked people, uh, immigrants, even though he an immigrant, his wife an immigrant too, but he attacking immigrants for coming into this country. Now, see, y'all don't even know that there are tens of thousands of jobs that go vacant every month. Okay, these are high paying jobs that before they were to fix this problem the companies have with finding people for these jobs to fix that problem they allow people from the outside foreigners to come in and work these jobs okay that's what it's been now trump comes in and he's saying look in one way or another close down the borders pretty much so what does that do that just further exacerbates the problem that the companies have right now the companies got a problem with trying to find people to hire for these jobs they've been letting people in from outside to get these high paying jobs before they've been educating people that's already here that don't have jobs so that's a problem now you can sit back and talk about what brothers is doing out here on the street and getting locked up but if you don't provide no opportunities for brothers and sisters to do something constructive and hopefully at an early age, then we know what happens. So who's going to make that decision at a local level if there is a program, some type of uh, program that is put in place to basically educate young folks, to reach young folks, to put them on a path to a career in one of these high paying jobs? You would think that 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 might be something that, um, again, an opportunity that we can capitalize on, family. OK, so Trump going to do what Trump going to do and leaders going to do what we got to do. And we're going to do what's in the best interest based on the conditions that we are facing right now. Leverage leveraging the, the opportunities and the creativity that we have as a people. We need that unity. We. We can take care of us. Don't worry about what they doing over there. Let's focus on what we can do for each other. What we can do for our own community. I gave you a solution. I have an education program that focuses on STEM learning. STEM. That's S-T-E-M. Science. Technology. Engineering. Mathematics. I put together STEM career course. Okay, let's call it a STEM careers course where you are now introduced to technology career fields that you didn't even know existed. Training you up, getting you certified, prepared to work in this field, mentoring, connecting you up with other brothers and sisters that's in the same field. Matching you up with recruiters, job headhunters, staffing firms that's looking for the skills that you now have and put you to work. You can work for my company. I'll bring you in. We're doing staffing services too. You know, your checks come from my company. Or you can go ahead and, and work directly for the company. If that's what you want to do, you can do that too. But it's about getting this economic power that's why we so weak we don't got no money we broke and we begging everybody else for some jobs it's time to do something about that people all right it's time to stop complaining about what ain't right it's time to stop complaining about what trump doing here or what ain't working over there do something about it Get behind something. If you don't get behind what I'm doing, get behind something that somebody else doing. But get active. There's some events coming up. I want you to be spreading the word about these events. That's how you can support. I want you to be sharing the news with the people that's supposed to be in leadership positions. The ones that's running things on the local level. Get in touch with your pastors. Get in touch with your community leaders. Let them know that this is young lion brother that's out here hungry and he trying to build for the community. 
This is what I'm doing. This is what I dedicated my life to. Help me eat. Help me feed other people so I can eat and feed mine. Because this is what I'm doing. That's what leaders do. So if you following somebody that ain't building like that, then you need to readjust yourself and find out if that tree is bearing fruit. All right? Because the fruit that I'm looking for is young brothers and sisters that's employed, creating their own businesses, that's consulting for themselves, or working for some other Fortune 1000 company. I'm on the way. Save me a spot. This is what I'm this is what I'm pushing. This is what I got going on. Alright? So you're gonna see some information about how to get in contact with me. You're gonna see some more information in the description on how to get to the website so you can check out the mission for yourself. You can see some information about the course and the program. And I'll probably share some links to some flyers too. It's real, y'all. It's time to stop complaining. It's time to stop being complacent. It's time to do something. After you get finished praying, come on over here. Let's get to work. All right? Let's get to work and let's do something. Peace.